Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pressure cooker meatball and pasta soup. Okay guys, I'm starting on my six quart instant pot pressure cooker. And uh, before I get cooking here, I want to say Dexter's really upset today for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is we were under tornado watch for the past hour. It was hailing the size of marbles outside and he was worried about that, but it's calmed down. And he's upset because a viewer commented on one of my videos and said he was really annoying in the background. Which you are being, Dexter. Be quiet. Okay, I'm starting out here. I have a bag of uh, frozen meatballs. This is 32 ounces. We're going to add about half of that in there. About 16 ounces. And I have one small onion, two stalks of celery, and two stalks of carrots I diced up. They're going in. And this is a really quick and easy uh, meal, guys. I'm going to add in 12 ounces of Ditalini pasta. If you can't find that, any small pasta will do. So this here is a two-cup pack, so I'm going to eyeball this. And guys, I don't know what's going on with Dexter. One minute he's quiet as a church mouse, and the next minute he's raising hell. Now I'm going to add in a four-cup box of beef broth. Just give this a squeeze to hurry it up. And the phone's ringing. That's probably mom, my mom calling to tell me there's a tornado coming through, which is already the warning's over. And I'm also going to add in a 14 and a half ounce can of beef broth. Now I'm going to add in a teaspoon of salt. If you're on a low sodium diet, you can leave this part out. And I'm going to add in a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to get a spoon and stir this all up. Just blend it all together, get my pasta mixed in there well. Okay, now I'm going to seal my lid on here, and I'm going to set this to pressure cook for nine minutes. After nine minutes is up, then I'll release the pressure. Okay, guys, my time's up. I did that quick release of pressure. This is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a bowl and see what we got. All right, guys, let me get in here and give this a try. I added some parsley in here at the end, because the reason I didn't add it in while it was cooking, because it all would have just steamed up to the top of the lid and got stuck up there. You can taste that beefiness of the beef broth with flavor of the meatballs cooked into the pasta. It's really good, guys. Let me try one of these meatballs. Hot. And that's really good, guys. And during the pressure cook, you don't heat your whole kitchen up. All right, there you have it. Pressure cooker meatball and pasta soup. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you.